On Monday, Black Widow revealed its final trailer. I think coming up to this trailer, you and I have both been sort of lukewarm on this movie. It feels, at least from my standpoint, it feels like the movie's happening too late in the game. A few years ago, a Black Widow movie would have made sense. Now, again, spoilers for Avengers Endgame. In that movie, we saw what happened to Black Widow, and now it feels like we're doubling back to a few years ago for this little snippet of her timeline. So they have to work a little harder to get us interested. So I've been lukewarm on this movie personally. Up until now, none of the trailers have really wowed me in any way. Before we talk about the final trailer, Alon, what's been your feeling towards this movie kind of up until now? Yeah, I mean, I felt exactly the same way. I wasn't super impressed by the other trailers. I thought the comedic elements they put in them didn't really do it for me. Um, but it sounds like just like you, I was much more impressed with this trailer, and I love the villain here. That's the first note so I have. Watching this trailer, Taskmaster looks so cool, even though we only see a couple glimpses of him. And by the way, how much do you know about Taskmaster? All I really know about him is what I learned from the Spider-Man video game. He basically learn your moves and use them back on you. So, and I don't know. <laughs> that, that's pretty much all I know. Photographic reflexes. He has the ability to essentially mimic any skill he witnesses. Not only that, once he knows your skills and he masters your movements, he can then predict your next attack, which makes him a very formidable foe. And that's actually, I'm assuming that's why we see him watching footage of Black Widow in the trailer, which, by the way, is footage that we saw in Iron Man 2. So he's watching this Black Widow fight so he can learn all of her movements. You also see he's carrying that shield, which at least in the comics is a replica of Captain America's shield. And that's one of the movements he's mastered. So all the crazy shield stuff that Captain America can do, now Taskmaster can do. So other that's, stuff... That's a pretty cool... Uh, I think that's pretty awesome for a villain. Yeah, great concept for a villain. Looks very cool. I hope they actually develop him. Just like, I mean, that's the problem with virtually every Marvel movie is even if the villain looks cool, usually they're not very well developed and they're not super interesting characters, but we'll see what they do with Taskmaster. Other stuff in this trailer that struck me is the score actually seemed like not a theme exactly, but had a little more character to it than a lot of the other Marvel movies where I feel like scores in general have kind of become generic. But this one somehow felt like it had some character to it and I think helped this trailer. You complained in the previous trailer. They leaned pretty heavily on the comedic elements. I thought this trailer got away from that a little bit, had not exactly a somber tone, but a little bit more of a serious tone, and I thought the score helped with that. I thought the action looked cool in moments. So all the helicopter stuff towards the end of the trailer, when she's hanging off the helicopter, when the big Russian dude from uh, played by the guy from Stranger Things throws something at Taskmaster looked really cool. Basically, anywhere that it looked like practical effects to me looked awesome in that whole helicopter sequence. But there's one moment where you see Black Widow falling and sort of jumping from one piece of debris to another looked super CGI to me, and that's where it looked kind of lame. I don't know. What did you think about the action in this trailer, Alon? Yeah, I mean, just like you, I prefer the action that's more close up. It's like one-on-one -on -one or smaller battles. I don't, I'm not as into these giant firestorms. Um, I, I loved uh, when Taskmaster did that backflip. I'm, I'm expecting to see some pretty <laughs> sweet moves from him. Yeah, he is. That's, I mean, to me, that's the standout of the trailer. Taskmaster is just awesome. Um, more on the action. I want to say there's one shot in the trailer where you see this car flipping upside down in midair. And I am so sick of that shot being used in movies. Dark Knight did it with that big truck a few years ago, and it was awesome. And then I feel like so many movies have been trying to do the same move 
Terminator, Sal- uh, not Salvation, Terminator Dark Fate did it. I think the new Fast and Furious movie has a shot with a truck flipping over, and here they did it. I think enough. Let's just ban that shot from <laughs> movies. Most of the rest of the action in the trailer, when it wasn't the helicopter sequence, to me looked like generic Marvel action. A lot of quick cuts. Part of that could just be because it's the trailer. There's going to be quick cuts. Maybe it won't look that way in the movie. I just wanted to say Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey. Wasn't a big fan of that movie, but remember how great the action was. I think you and I both talked about how that movie actually had really solid action. You know how they pulled that off? They got Chad Stileski. Chad Stileski, the director of John Wick. They literally called him up, had him come in, and help out with the action scenes. I feel like... He's got to do every action scene. That's what I was going to say. Black Widow. Call up Chad Stileski. Or, I forget his name, but call up the guy who did the raid too. Because they seem to be the only ones right now who know how to shoot an action sequence. Or George Miller from uh, Mad Max. Yeah, I mean, it seems like one of the keys is very few cuts. Exactly. Let (laughs) us understand what's happening in the fight. I want to be able to track the geography of it. Where is everybody? And, I mean, call me crazy... I want to see what's happening in it. I don't want it to cut every two You're seconds. You're crazy. I know. I know. No, remember, uh, remember in Born Identity, those car chases were so hard to follow. I literally would start just like zoning out. I think I fell asleep once. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, when you asked, remember those car chases? No, I don't. Because as soon as I started, <laughs> my brain just couldn't handle it. And I just turned my brain off. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm still not fully on board with this movie, but I have gone from, eh, I don't know if I really need to see it, to, okay, I'll see the movie. I'm just not super psyched for it. Hopefully the action turns out better than what we saw in this trailer. I'll also say in the opening of the trailer, there's 15 to 20 seconds of Black Widow talking to her sister, and her sister's telling the story that she uses as a cover-up when people ask where Black Widow is. She makes up that, oh, you know, she's thinking about moving to the West Coast, blah, blah, blah. That actually did get me slightly intrigued about the relationship between the two of them. And if they can really dig into that relationship, make it something we care about, that could be a window into making me care about this movie. Because right now, like I said, it's a little tough for me to get super invested in the Black Widow character now that I know her fate. But we don't know what happens with her sister. We don't know what happens with her family. And if they can make us care about those relationships, that'll make us care about the action. And that'll make this movie overall more substantial. So I'm a little less skeptical than I was before. I've got my fingers crossed. And we're just a few weeks away from release. Again, we, we, nowadays we have to put this caveat on every movie. This movie right now is set for release May 1st, barring any delays from concerns over uh, coronavirus. Alun, any final thoughts on Black Widow? Uh, no, except Taskmaster looks pretty damn cool. All right, let's wrap it up there. <laughs>